Uh, congratulations to Donald Trump. Uh, the, the election belongs to the people and the people voted for change and Donald Trump is the change agent. And I think that means that the president-elect, those of us in Congress, need to respond to what we heard yesterday. To me, that means less Washington involvement in our lives. It means making it easier to, to buy lower cost health insurance and get a job and making the system fairer. I think it's important we put the election behind us. The best way to make the kind of changes that the country wants is for us to work together and bring out the best in all of us. How about the wins in the House and the Senate? Well, I'm delighted with the wins in the Senate. The Senate's, uh, our Senate majority has delivered over the last two years, and this will give us a chance to do even more. For example, we fixed No Child Left Behind, sent local control of education back to Tennessee and local school boards and classroom teachers. The Wall Street Journal said it was the biggest devolution of power from Washington to the states in 25 years. So a Republican majority with a Republican president can reduce Washington's involvement in our lives and solve, solve some of these other problems that were the source of the vote yesterday. Yes, yeah, Senator, it was only a month ago where you said Trump had brought the presidential campaign to quote a new low um, are you going to be reaching out to Trump? Have you done so? And what you're, you know, are you surprised about the, by the outcome this night? Well, I th it was it was a big political upset. I think that uh, the biggest political upset of my lifetime, and maybe the biggest one ever. And I did say that some time ago. I thought uh, he and Hillary Clinton ran a campaign that brought the campaign to a low level. But that's behind us. I think it's time now to bring out the best in us. I think he's perfectly capable of doing that, and I think it's up to those of us who support him or those who didn't, to say, uh, all right, let's work together and do something about getting Washington out of our lives, making health care more affordable, making it easier to find a job, making the system fair. Did you catch your vote for Donald Trump? I supported Donald Trump as soon as the people of Tennessee chose him. Looking at some of these counties, some of them went 85%, some of these rural counties in mm -hmm. Tennessee, 85, 86% for Donald Trump, you know, and obviously Nashville, mm -hmm. Memphis, Hillary Clinton. You know, talk about the divisions in the state. Have you ever seen, really in this country, have you ever seen a state divided? Well, his vote was about the same that the rest of us get when we run statewide. I mean, I got about 62% of the vote when I ran for re-election. Senator Corker got a little more. Governor Haslam got more than that. I got more than that in 2008. So I think, yes, we do have some divisions, and I think we have to listen to them. I think those of us in public office will be smart for the next few months to do less talking, more listening, especially to the people who voted for Donald Trump. They had something they wanted to say. They surprised a lot of people, and we ought to understand what they what what they want us to hear. Senator Corker has been mentioned as a possible cabinet uh, member in the Trump administration. What are your thoughts about that? He would he, he, he would be an excellent cabinet member. Uh, Bob Corker would be a good Secretary of State. He'd be a good Secretary of the Treasury. He has a grasp of both the financial issues and a grasp of the world. When senators uh, think about national security, how to keep us safe in the world, we usually turn to Bob Corker first to listen to him. So I'd hate to lose him as a colleague in the Senate, but he'd be an excellent choice by, by President-elect Trump, and I think they have a good relationship. There was strong rhetoric in the, uh, the campaign from Trump regarding uh, immigrants, Mexico, et cetera. Are you worried at all about how that rhetoric might spill over now during an administration, or what are your, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I, what we should do is, is pass a law that solves the immigration problem. We tried to do that 10 years ago. We tried to do that five years ago, and if we'd done it either time, the borders would be secure, we'd have legal immigration, and it would be a minor issue. So I think one of the priorities for the new president and the Congress is to say, let's pass a law making sure we have immigration, but that it's legal immigration. And if we get that behind us, I think the country will be a lot better off. What do you think a Republican-controlled legislature and Donald Trump as president <laughs> means for the people of Tennessee? I think it means less of Washington telling you how to live your lives. I mean, just as last year when the Republican Senate passed a bill that restored local control of education, we can see more of that in higher education, we can see more of that in health care. For example, we need to fix Obamacare. We've got an Obamacare emergency in the state of Tennessee. In most of our counties, people only have one choice. So we need to give people more choices, less of Washington telling you what kind of health insurance you ought to buy, give you some choices to buy something that 
fit your budget and fit your health care needs. So that's the biggest thing I'd like to see is less Washington involvement in telling us what to do in our everyday lives. Uh, you had a lot of you know, campaign promises during, during the, the campaign. What do you think the top things he should do right off the bat uh, after he's inaugurated? First well, first thing I would do, and I would recommend he do, is to review the regulations on education, on labor, uh, on health care that President Obama has put out that have exceeded the legal authority and either repeal them, not enforce them, or change them. That's the first thing I would do. Second thing I would do is fix Obamacare. It's an emergency. People need more choices in health care. And the third thing I hope he does, and he's talked about this as did Hillary Clinton, is the importance of infrastructure. I'm going to talk about that today in Nashville. I mean, Nashville is one of the fastest growing cities in America. We badly need a long-term, big-time plan for how to get from one place to the other. We're all going to be stuck on Interstate 24 over the next 30, 30 years. So a, I hope the president will take a look at this opportunity for a big infrastructure plan for roads and bridges to keep America moving. What about the wall between the United States and Mexico? Should that be something that uh, you hope he understands? Well, let's let the president-elect think about that and decide what he wants to propose once he's president. So as you were watching last night, as you saw the polls coming in early on, Hillary Clinton was projected to win the election. As the numbers started coming, what was your reaction? What was your feeling as you saw the numbers go towards Trump? Well, I was paying most attention to the Senate races because we had a lot of senators, good senators, who were up for re-election in tough races. And what encouraged me the most was when Senator Burr began to win, Senator Blunt began to win, and we won all of the races except one or maybe two. So I think uh, Donald Trump helped with that, but I was focused mostly on the Senate race because I believe a Senate majority can deliver for the American people, and I'd like to be uh, in that majority, which I will be. When do you expect a Supreme Court justice nominee and uh, you know, given how the last year went with that, after Obama's nominee, what do you, what do you now expect in uh, the Democrats? Well, I expect the president-elect will make his nomination soon after, he, after he's inaugurated because we've had a vacancy for several months now. And since we have a Republican majority in the Senate and we chair the Judiciary Committee, I expect that nominee to get a full hearing promptly, to be carefully vetted, and and if everything works out to be confirmed before long.